In this video, I will demonstrate how to download content from the old 7.0.3 server to upload to the new 8.1 server on Adobe Connect. So, here we are on the uh, old 7.0.3 server av available at breezemeeting.asu.edu in my own office hours room and we see we've got a couple of different layouts available and perhaps I will want to recreate this on the other server uh, including this PowerPoint that I have here called Presenter Practice 01. What I'm going to do is download this PowerPoint so that I can have it to upload on the other server. To do that, I'll do it through the collaboration layout where I have a file share pod and I'll upload it from the 703 server to the file share pod where I can then download it. I collect upload file, click on select from content library and I go to uploaded content, which is content that has been uploaded to this room on the old server. Slide down here until I find presenter practice 01 PPT. This is the original PowerPoint that I originally uploaded to this room, which was converted so that I could show it in this layout. Over here, I've got that in the file share pod. Now I can select it, save to my computer. This means I can download this PowerPoint to my local computer here. We'll save it in a sp specific place. For my own benefit, it will be helpful to name it Presenter Practice 01.ppt and save it in a specific place like my downloads area so this PowerPoint will be saved locally I'll have it that I can upload to the other server can close that and now now that I'm here I'll go to the new server which is at https colon slash connect .asu.edu and I'll log in with my account just my ASU write ID and the password I've already set up and I'll enter on the new server it starts out on my home page and I'm ready to create a new meeting click on meeting I'll create the new room with the title that will appear in the title bar Sparky's Office Hours and I'll create the custom URL Sparky presuming nobody else has used that one yet and I do not need to specify anything here don't worry about the time and date I'll let anyone who has the URL come to this room. I won't create a special passcode, though I could, that I could change whenever I wanted to control who has access to this room. And then I will simply create finish to create this room, and I'll automatically be a member of it. Now that I have created the room, uh, by default, I am already a host in the room uh, and that's by default. I'll go back to the meeting information and I will enter the meeting room so I can upload the content that I downloaded from the other server. What I'll do when this room opens up we'll see it's in the default layout which consists of the share pod over here on the left a video pod now is by default in the main window on the right hand side attendees chat window and the layouts are available on the right hand side 
Also, this is where I can turn on my microphone in the room, turn on my webcam, or change my status if I wanted to. But I'm ready to upload this content, find this PowerPoint. So in the SharePod drop-down menu, I select Share Document, browse my computer, and I have to go to Computer, C, Users, Plafford, Downloads, and here I've got this Presenter Practice 01 PPT, which is the one I just downloaded through the File Share Pod. I'll open that, and now that's uploading and converting, and as we will see, this will be now available within the new 8.1 room, having started out as the PowerPoint that I had uploaded to the other room. If I need to recreate complex layouts from the old room in the new room, I can simply bring up two windows side by side with the old room and recreate those pods in the new session.